Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Momina Bhatti Vlog. Today's topic is very interesting. The topic is how to make money. I'm going to call it an easy money theory. So I read this book by a Japanese author and it was incredible. He wrote many ways of how to make easy money. Why is he calling it uh, an easy money thing? Not because uh, it's uh, coming very easily, it's flowing in very easily just because there's no physical activity involved. It's all a mind game. And once you really truly understand it and you apply it, you are going to see the results. So the first method of making money and getting all the abundance, happiness that you desire for is that you have to forget about earning money or gaining money. That was very, very surprising because when I read it, I was like, how can you make money by forgetting about money? How can you make money without thinking day and night? How should I make money? So this mindset that he explained that do not think about money and you will be able to make more money. Now, the concept is actually that it's a chasing a race like when you chase someone when you go after someone and you are desperate to get attention you don't get that the energy uh, does not vibe with it so when you want to actually attract money in your life you need to just forget about it and focus on other things which means the second method is follow your passion you do not have to follow money you don't have to be worried all the time day and night how should i make money how should i make money you should follow your passion do things which you like to do and money will follow you so it's very it's a common phenomena i mean in your daily life when you uh, beg someone or something or you, you want something in your life and you are running after it you are begging for it 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 you usually lose it in most of the cases so and maybe it's not even good for you so what you have to do is that you have to trust the process you need to have trust that you will get at that point where you are actually earning a lot of money where you're getting success in your business uh, you're working part-time you're doing multiple jobs or you are passionately following your uh, hobby and also trying to make a career out of it so all of this things will uh, follow but you have to forget the obsession uh, about earning money when you follow your passion only when you're doing a business uh, with the idea of building an empire or uh, you know with the idea of gaining some uh, skills uh, from whatever field you you are in the money will follow you so the first one was forget about things thinking about money all the time you do not have to manifest money you have to manifest success you have to manifest gaining skills you have to manifest so many other things uh, like having a happy life and he really focused on that area that having a lot of money did not guarantee a happy life. He interviewed people who were in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, because your working age is actually between 20 to uh, 55. These are the years where you are actually working uh, 25 to 55, and these 30, 40 years are your productive years. So he uh, actually interviewed a lot of people in this age bracket, and he asked them, that what is your biggest regret and most of them had answers like i wish i had given more time to my family i wish i had uh, cancelled my meeting and gone uh, on some particular trip that my children or my wife or my mother or my siblings were planning to do i wish i had attended my child's uh, soccer game instead of um, sitting in my room or sitting in a hotel room and signing a one trillion or billion contract. I wish the empire that I had made, I had only got five, ten percent of it and actually spent uh, the time and the money that I gained on more important things, which 
I cannot do it right now. I cannot bring back time. I've lost so much time, so much energy, so much of my life running after money. And I've uh, lost all the precious moments. I did not live in the reality. I was all, always anxious about the future and uh, not learning from my past. So these were the answers he got, which which concludes that money did not guarantee them happiness. Their biggest regret was not that, oh, I wish I am a trillionaire. I should have been something more than that. Or I, um, I wish I had made two, three empires. But their biggest regret was not spending time with their loved ones, not living to their fullest and always worrying about money, which they thought that will bring them all the abundance and happiness. But unfortunately it did not so you're following your passion you're following whatever you like doing in your life and the money is going to follow you the third concept that he explained was that uh, money is if you think of money as a person like you don't think of money as a commodity or an asset in your life which can bring commodities and you know uh, which can bring a certain percentage of happiness in your life but you think of it as a person what kind of person comes in your mind for a lot of people he interviewed money was a scary person money was uh, somebody they were intimidated with uh, they were scared of somebody unwelcoming and somebody who always makes them uh, anxious and worried and gives them anxiety and depression for some people money was like a best friend uh, money was bringing them joy happiness and they were not scared of that person. So uh, further he explained that how come this uh, money for some people is like a best friend, they're not scared of it. And for some people, uh, it is a very scary person. So the thing is that people who think of money as a very scary person or they perceive it perceived it as a scary person, those were the people who were running after money, who were uh, not enjoying their life, who were always worried with less money, worried with more money, and nothing was ever enough for them. Now, people who were very happy uh, with money and saw it as someone like their best friend, which they were very comfortable with, that those people, that crowd was actually the one that um, did not run after money. They welcome money. They appreciate it whenever uh, it comes in their life, but they were not worried about it all the time. And they were very comfortable with what they have. They had that threshold level of this is enough. You're giving in the society is coming back to you. And there's one thing which I really liked, he cleared was that I even asked people, what do you need money for? Why are you earning this money? And a lot of them went blank. Some of them said that, do you know, to have my legacy, to build an empire. Some of them said that, I don't know. Some of them said, so that I can shop the hell out of it. You know, but the the answers were not very clear. Either they were the goals were not very mature or they were, the thinking was very, you know, immature. Or some people didn't even know why do they need this money like it was some sort of addiction they were running after and they never knew when it is going to be enough and when they actually have to stop running after it so the clarity why do you need money is very important before manifesting and uh, having the desire to have more money in your life what do you need money for ask this question yourself okay you want to earn a lot maybe you want to uh, you know fulfill your goals your passion you want to help your family uh, fulfilling their goals or you want to make someone proud of you or what do you actually need money for if you're not clear about that in your mind and you 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 are you go blank about this question you just want it because you know it it feels good because i i do need it i want it so uh, that is wasting your life after it, something you're not clear about. 
you know why do i like uh, making youtube videos because um, this is my passion this is my hobby i like making videos and i do, i want my videos to be very informative now before that uh, it was all about fashion and all not that i'm not going to make the videos based on fashion but it was all about that now and i try putting information out there it might help someone somewhere uh, so this is my passion i'm clear about why am i doing this so if you're not clear about why are you chasing that money why why are you making um, so much uh, you know noise about having that salary having that promotion having that whatever um, business you want to start then you are just you know a person without any clarity money for me um personally i think money for me is very confusing um because practically i've uh, not been working my whole life i've not been working that continuously and i've not been working with consistency but one thing is that i never worried about it that much and that's why maybe i've been always been blessed i've never been out of money i've never um, it's not that uh, yes there were times in my life when i uh, i shockingly faced uh, you know i was penniless and that that was uh, a time of transition and it was a hard time and uh, at that time i re i really started worrying about it and at that time i realized what's happening to me i wasn't this kind of a person but i never cared about it really i i when i want to work when i'm in the mood i work when i don't want to work i don't and so uh, maybe that's why you know it comes from places where i'm i'm not even expecting it so you know uh, from my personal experience i kind of relate and connect to this concept of don't run after money let the money run after you you know the, like just like you don't run after people you like and you actually want them to approach you same is the concept with the money if you really treat it like someone you want in your life someone you adore so you don't have to run after them you don't have to chase them so that was my personal uh, experience that i shared with you that how am i coping with this whole concept of um, getting money in your life and to be very honest i've always enjoyed moments i do not enjoy my bag being full of money i enjoy living in the present you know i people who know me closely they know that i'm always about let's do this let's do that i want to do this i want to follow this passion i want to go into arts and drawing i want to make videos i want to get ready and i i'm i'm so curious about the fashion going on and um, you know different stuff like that and also i i always have a continuous interest in the education sector so i always follow my passion money follows me <laughs> so i hope you really enjoyed this video i really enjoyed making it i hope i'm clear on the things that really would help you to make and attract a lot of money in your life the first thing is forget about making money the second thing is follow your passion the third thing is what is money to you you have should a clarity in your goals and the fourth thing is that how do you look at money as as a person what is it bring is it really a curse for you or is it a blessing you have to evaluate it yourself so i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe and like and share this video with all those people who are really struggling with making more money or who are unfairly obsessed with making money and missing out all those moments and living in the reality living in the present they should really watch this video i will also share the link of the author the japanese author and the book that i got all the information from also i'm so thankful for the 1000 subscribers on my youtube and i got that email from youtube that i finally got 1000 subscribers on my channel i'm so grateful i'm so thankful i'm thankful to my god for actually making me enjoy my passion and i'm so hopeful about this journey so keep watching my videos subscribe to my channel and i love you all bye